Thank you all for being here, and thanks uh, for those that are also supporting and watching online, too. It's uh, overwhelming when we walked in here, and yeah, we all stand in silence and um, to honor um, my brother-in-law. So very appreciative of everybody who's here. Yeah. Today we honor a fallen hero. You know him as uh, Officer Tuan Le, but he's truly my brother from another mother. And I often think about what was going through his head when he found out my sister Sarah not only have me as a brother, but not one, but two, but not three, but four older brothers <laughs> before he even started dating her. You know, I just want to talk about his love and, you know, just was he so enamored in it that it didn't matter. And as big brothers, we wouldn't be doing our jobs right if we weren't at least giving Tuan a little good old-fashioned pat down. Does he even have a strategy on how he's going to approach her four big brothers? And then from my cousin's sharing yesterday, my youngest one is, is hot-headed. We grilled him. And it's not just from us he has to win over. Sarah has some cousins. And they all went to the same school, and they are tight like sisters. They're so tight with each other, they even form a gang of their own. I'm talking about having a secret name for themselves, all getting the same tattoo, that kind of gang. So needless to say, Tuan has his work cut out for him. But to make a long story short, he remained loyal and stayed true to his intention. And he wasn't afraid or scared off by any of, a, any of us. They went to the senior ball together. They started dating that summer. And, um, but not sure what it was. You know, was it the thought of just not wanting to piss us off? Or he simply knew that he loved Sarah with his heart, with his whole heart. And he pursued her with his love that is few and far between. I also love the fact that he proposed to my sister while they are on a cruise with a couple of my brothers and their family and my parents. They got to witness this. And uh, just to speak to if, whether or not Tuan has this whole strategy thought out, he was asking my brothers what, what would be a good good place or good occasion to, uh, to propose. They found a secluded beach. Son, Tuan took Sarah on a walk right along the beach, right where the ocean and the waves meet the sand. I think uh, my brothers weren't as prepared. And by the time they, they realized it, he was already getting down on his knees. He proposed to my sister, and she said yes, and you can just tell how happy that made him. And then all the, the next thing that he wanted to do is to make sure my brother got a good picture of it, so he recreated that scene right away. He wants to remember that moment. They have a rather comical relationship, and me being around them, it's like watching a sitcom. They like to joke around with each other, they get on each other's nerves. They go on all these outdoors adventures. And from what I hear, my sister is not the most outdoor type of person. So it made it easy for Tuan. Tuan waited for her you know, on these hikes. They enjoyed the nature. And when they're just chilling at home, you can be sure you'll see Tuan in his hoodies, a hat or a beanie, and his Crocs. They make such a wonderful couple together, and Tuan takes so good care of my sister, and she is the love of his life. He also have other loves. 
They also have their two dogs, Lola and Bixby. Lola, who they've had for over 10 years, and every time I see her, it just breaks your heart seeing how much his best friend misses, she misses her best friend. And they have such a wonderful bond together. And I can't ask for a better brother-in-law than Tuan. But selfishly, the years together as a family just didn't feel like it was enough. <laughs> Though he's not particularly into sports, I appreciate him watching along with us whenever a game is on. He would get excited about a play or a call like five seconds after we were done yelling at the TV. <laughs> it's like a light bulb that just came on. Again, that's just what I love about him. And, um, you know, the squad mates or the stories we've heard, you guys could attest to this. He may not be the quickest you know, the smartest guy in the room. But when he gets it, when he learns a new, something new, new language, that light bulb comes on. He gets excited for you. And he'll use it. He'll run with it. And he'll become your biggest and loudest cheerleader on your sideline. He loved all his nieces and nephew and always make it a point to attend all their birthdays and gathering despite having an overnight shift and a busy schedule. And he has a lot of them. He has a lot of nieces and nephews. Again, he loves being their biggest and loudest cheerleader. You can see him in the back, like in the audience like this, and his voice will be the loudest and the biggest and, and, and when, when it's all quiet. He loves going to um, their niece's piano recital performance. What touched me was when him and Sarah came out to support my daughter's first popcorn sales with the Cub Scout. My, my daughters didn't like it, but Tuan and Sarah made it bearable. It's good to see it. Family member there. He bought every flavor there was. And I love him for that. I know they will all miss their Uncle Tuan. And to me, he's a big, huggable marshmallow. And to all your kids out there, he's like a Baymax from Big Hero 6. <laughs> big, huggable, but a superhero. <laughs> we love him. Even though he was big, we love him more because he had an even bigger heart. He never misses an opportunity. He always gives us a big hug right before he leaves for his shift. And we always want him to come home safely as we were giving him the hug. Even though I am his big brother, he always watched over me and my family like the bigger brother, walking us to our cars, making sure we get in safely. I know this news hit this friend's just as hard, but I'm glad that both Sarah and Tuan have such good friends, as I can tell uh, by the pictures, the slideshows that were shown in the past few days. He knew how to have fun, and we love seeing all the pictures and all the travelings you guys did together and living life to its fullest. Tuan's stories is truly remarkable, as have you heard from Tuan's cousin. You got to, if you get to hear about his upbringing and how he had to endure a whole lot of challenges and setbacks and was pretty much raised only by his mom. In return, he wants to be able to take care of his mom as she did raising him by herself. And Tuan's mom shared with me that in a recent call that Tuan made, he told her that if anything should happen to him, He wants to make sure Sarah's taken care of. <laughs> he persevered and worked hard on providing for his family. 
no matter what the work entailed, starting out as a security guard, finally graduating from the academy, and becoming an officer for the Oakland Police Department. And he wore that badge proudly, serving the people in the city he grew up in. I know what he does for the city of Oakland and his community is just it's not just self-serving, and it, but a selfless act of love and sacrifice. To his family and to my sister, we love Tuan very much and accepted him as our own. And I know Tuan is not the one to take a hand out. <laughs> we are all very proud of you, what you have accomplished and what you stood for. And if Tuan has made an impact on you in a positive way, I encourage you to carry on his legacy to impact those around you. Whatever it is, whether it be lending an ear to listen or stopping to help someone on the road, or if he changed your mind about buying some Crocs, do it because that's what Tuan would have done. We are all very sad to see you go, but we cherish all the times we had together and remember you for all of our lives. <laughs>